It's happy hour somewhere and we all need a quartini. So I'm gonna show y'all how to make my favorite signature drink. It's the copycat recipe from one of my favorite restaurants in town and I figured out how to make it. So I'm gonna walk you through how to make this martini. It is delicious. So all you're gonna need is some citrus vodka. I have Smirnoff, I prefer this over Absolute. I think it's got a, it's a little more pure taste. Um, we have right here some Saint Germain liqueur. I love this stuff, it's elderflower liqueur. Uh, cranberry juice cocktail, we have sweet and sour, and we have some fresh squeezed lime juice. I went ahead and rolled up and chopped up my basil, that's called chevonade, and then have a little pretty garnish, and then that's just a lime that I squeezed out. Um, so you're gonna need your martini shaker, I've already got ice in there, you're gonna need a jigger, and of course you need a martini glass. So we'll go ahead and walk you through this. So we're gonna add the ingredients into the shaker. And the first thing that we're going to add is an ounce and a half of the citrus vodka. Put that right in. Then we're going to add an ounce of the Saint Germain. This gives it a ton of flavor. It's delicious. And then we're going to need a half ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Actually, it took me a while at the store to a couple trips to get these limes because they were out. And then we're gonna add an ounce of sweet and sour. And an ounce of cranberry. You can add a little more cranberry if you want, depending on how sweet you like your drink. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put in some of the um, basil leaves that I chopped up into like a chiffonade so that way they kind of get infused into the drink. Little tip for shaking your martinis, you should always point the, the cap away from anyone that's in front of you. So that's why we do that. Just in case it goes flying off. It'll go behind you and not hit someone. <laughs> so we're gonna pour that in there. That is beautiful. And let's go ahead and garnish it. You can garnish it with your chopped up basil leaves or you can float some pretty little, a little more in there. But this drink is gorgeous, it's easy. Um, I make it at all of our holiday parties and everybody loves it and asks for the recipe. So cheers, enjoy your quartini and I'll be back with cooking videos soon. Mmm, that's good.